going on everybody? Welcome to today's episode. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make venison tacos. Now this is one of my very favorite meals to make with venison. When you do it right, it tastes super good. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so first obviously you're going to need some venison. Now this is some venison that we, uh, we harvested this year. I'm not sure from which year it is. But anyway, so that's some venison we harvested this year. And then you're going to need everything else you need for a taco. You know, well, you need some taco seasoning to season your venison. Then, like I said, all the fixings for tacos. We have some avocados to make some guac, some tomatoes, and then we're probably gonna have some cheese and salsa and all of that good stuff. So first, we gotta brown the venison for the tacos. All right, so first step, you gotta turn your stove on. You know, normally you need like heat to cook stuff or something like that. So you got the old cast iron or any pan heating up here. Then you're gonna wanna take some oil. Any old oil will do it. We got the old vegetable oil here. Well, olive oil, anything will work great. So then you want to take the olive oil or vegetable oil and just give her a little drizzle in the pan, you know? Not too much, not too, oh yeah, not too little, just, you know, enough to wet the pan a little bit so the meat doesn't stick to the bottom, you know? All right, so we got our oil in the pan here, and then we're just gonna give, give her the old spread out, kind of get it coated, let it heat up a little bit. And then you want to take the old venison. Take it. And dump her on in there. Sometimes she takes a second. Oh yeah. All right, and then you just want to spread the old meat around. You see how the edges are kind of starting to turn brown there? Your goal is to get all of the meat to turn brown. You're gonna, wanna, you're, gonna, you're gonna wanna chunk it up along the way as well. So yeah, so you just cook it until it all turns brown and we'll see you guys on the next step. All right, so we got the old meat browned here. Looking nice and pretty like. And then I turned her down to low just to kind of let it simmer, you know. So then you take your old taco seasoning, read the directions, you need two thirds cups of water for this sucker. So then you find your two thirds cups. Come on. <laughs> there she is, okay. So then you gotta, it says to stir in the water with the taco seasoning. So you take the water, take your taco seasoning, bust her open. Pour in the water with the taco seasoning. Then whatever all come out. <laughs> and then keep stirring her up there. And you'll have a little bit of excess water at first, but that'll evaporate as it starts to, uh, to simmer. Yeah, the medicine just by itself is kind of a little bland, but with the um, Taco season in there, it tastes just like beef to me, honestly. Oh yeah, there's more there. <laughs> All right. So now we got that step done. So now we need to start just making our taco. We got, oh, we gotta make the guac first. And I cut up the tomatoes, and then we gotta get the tacos ready to make it. All right, so I just got done cooking the meat here, and my sister's my camera, camera guy. He's like, hey, make guacamole. I got the secret recipe. I got the sauce good guacamole. So I'm gonna be filming her making guacamole. So that's what's gonna happen right now. All right, Maria, so tell us what we need for the old secret guacamole. All right, so first you need, well, some avocados, obviously. And then some lemon juice and some secret spices, which Aaron has um, promised that he will blur out so y'all don't know. And so first, we're gonna start by cutting our avocados. And just cut them in half. Ooh, a little too right? And, okay. Ooh, that's an interesting looking seed. All right, so now we're gonna take a spoon. Just, you know, a needle spoon. Scoop it out. And into the bowl. Out, into the bowl. Um, and then you just scoop it like that until all of it is done. You can have one avocado. You can do it with one or two avocados if you want. I have done it with both, works fine. Done it with three, works fine. So we're just gonna do that to our next avocado. So now we have all of our avocados. We are going to get a fork and mash them together, and then we are going to add our secret ingredients. 
All right, got a mash up. Okay, so now that everything is mashed, we are going to add our lemon juice and secret ingredient. All right, now that Aaron has been so kind to open the lemon bottle for me, our lemon juice bottle, we will take it and pour some on in there. Yeah, just a little. Is there like an exact amount or anything or just? No, just, you know, <laughs> till it looks about right. <laughs> you know, I came up with this recipe months ago during quarantine. So I have it all in my brain. Don't even know the measurements. Oh, and this is the secret ingredient. Um, I cannot tell you what it is for confidential reasons, but um, we will now add it. And just till it about covers the top. Oops. Oops. It's fine. So just like that, and then just stir it on it. One more thing. You can add more things to this recipe. This is just like the bare, bare minimum of avocado or of guacamole. But you can add tomatoes, you can add salsa, you can like just basically mix in anything you want to throw in. But this is how I prefer it. So this is how I make it. So if you want to throw some more stuff in, you can do that. Oh yeah, don't that look pretty boys. I told you she had the secret hook up with the uh, secret spice, but don't that look good. Oh yeah. <laughs> so now we're cutting up the tomatoes too. Yep. All right, so we're gonna get these tomatoes cut up and then we'll be ready to make the tacos, which I am pretty excited about. Now I have decided I'm more of a nacho guy. She's more of a taco guy. Yes. Girl, sorry. So we're, she's gonna eat a soft shell taco and I'm gonna eat some nachos. And we'll do the side-by-side -side comparison of what's better. So stay tuned, it's gonna get good. All right, so we got the old cheese, the guacamole, the tomatoes, the meat, and then chips versus Tacos. All right, so first we're gonna make the old the nachos. This is just how I make my nachos, you know. Pretty big nacho connoisseur. Just take the old meat, give her a nice sprinkle on. And then I like to go cheese after the nachos, so you kinda get all melty on the meat, you know. Okay, and then, then we go tomatoes. Just some nice color and flavor. Then guacamole, and some zest in there, you know. And then salsa to top her all off, you know. Just give her a nice homemade salsa, actually. But, eh, come on. Come on, okay, there we go. And then I just like to, spoon probably better tool for this, but just give her a nice sprinkle of salsa. And there's my nachos. Now Marie's gonna show you how she makes her tacos. Okay, so this is my taco. So, like, on the opposite from Aaron, I don't do meat first, I go guacamole first. <laughs> what? Aaron's like stressing out back there. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so just like scoop it off, and then flatten it out. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, that's disgusting. You know, and my super secret guacamole is best for guacamole. And then you take some meat. it out there. Make sure, you know. And you got your cheese. And then you add your tomatoes. And uh, that's my taco. And personally, I think it's pretty good, but some people might have other opinions. So, it's going to taste? Yeah, going to taste. So, now we are going to give them a taste test. And I'm going to show you my folding technique. All right. This is also controversial as I've heard. All right, you fold it. Oh, gosh. Like oh. this. <laughs> it's a taco, not a burrito. Even for a burrito, that's like... A, and there a, you have it, a tiny little taco. It's a square. But it's the best square you've ever tasted. All right, let's give her a taste. guacamole um you know just spread out on the bottom get it 
bite or taste in every bite. Then the meat is perfectly cooked with that nice seasoning on it. Then the cheese and the tomatoes. Perfection. All right, All right now we got the old nacho taste. Let's so, so we'll see how it, see how she does. How about nachos? You gotta get a little bit of everything on there on one chip, you know. That's why I don't like them. Tacos are more organized, but I like the chips and the nachos, you know. Oh jeez, come on tomato. <laughs> come on tomato, there we go. Just on and on there, there we go. Mmm, that was good. That was really good. I'll sit with the taco seasoning on there. You can't even tell it's medicine. It tastes just like beef. So anyways, that will do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the view. Hope you go home and make this with your family by yourself. It tastes really good. Hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. See you guys later.